Hi fans, this is Mike, the Quarterman Miles, welcoming you to my segment known as Penny Arcade Diary. In this diary that I'm going to review today is going to be a game that came out in the arcades back in 1982 that was created by the company Taito. The game that we're reviewing is known as Jungle King. This is actually the sequel to Jungle Hunt. Some of you may not really remember this game back in the arcades, but some of you may have had the Atari 2600 home console that was ported with Jungle Hunt and there was Jungle King. So let's actually criticize this game. Now, the main objective of this game is it's four stages where you're trying to save the girl and your Tarzan. So, four stages, but your Tarzan. So let's check out Jungle King, shall we? So, as you can see in the very beginning stage, you have Tarzan looking there with black hair, he's got the tights, he's jumping on vines. So in stage one, you want to time yourself right to jump on every vine possible to proceed to the end of this stage. But of course, you know, if you jump a little too quicker, you know, simple. You're going to miss the vine and fall, just like that. Now on the stage two. Now, what just happened to Tarzan's hair? Now he's blonde. So are you telling me he bleached his hair after stage one? But anyways, you're fighting alligators in this, so you definitely want to either fight or avoid them and stay away from the jellyfish because they slow away. But if you're a pixel away from that alligator, you're fucked. Are you serious? Just a pixel away, you're fucked. On the stage three, you're going up this hill, you're closer to your girl, but you have to avoid these boulders. There are small boulders and large boulders. You can either jump over them or duck under them. Most likely you're going to jump over them, but the big boulders you avoid. And the last stage, you have to avoid witch doctors. There's two in front that's preventing you from saving the girl. And the girl's tied up on a vine, and there's this big giant pot of hot boiling water that she's about ready to fall in. But the fact of the matter is, with this game, you have to time it right. But just for the criticism, one thing I really don't understand about this game is, is why is Tarzan changing his hair color? At first, he's black-haired like every other Tarzan you may have seen in TV shows, movies, and commercials. But now he's a blonde hair in stage number two? What the fuck were they thinking? Oh, and it gets better. In stage three, he's a red hair. Who would have thought as a red hair Tarzan? So, other than that with the criticism, this actually was a decent game back in the days. This is back in 1982, remember? This is far more be time when like the Super Mario Brothers came out and even Mario Brothers. So overall it was a pretty good game so if you have a chance to really have an opportunity to go to one of those retro arcade places that's somewhere in America and you see Jungle King or even Jungle Hunt, the prequel to this, definitely give it a try. You may have to put a few quarters in just to get a little acquainted with the path and the timing of this game just so you can progress at least up to stage three or four. But remember, three or four quarters meaning one turn per quarter, because that's how it was back then. So overall, definitely give this game a try. It's actually a decent game, but I still don't understand the concept of changing his fucking hair! But hey, the point of the game is, you're Tarzan, and you're going after to get a piece of ass that you've been waiting for. This is Mike the Quarterman Miles. We will see you in another video game segment on... This wonderful segment that I have as the Penny Arcade Diary. Thanks for watching.